Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the way I did it to level up pretty, relatively pretty quickly, actually. I know I'm not at the max level because it is around 2,000, I think it's 2,300 if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see, I'm only at 1,200, although I am already at the second C. Right now I came to the first C, that way I can just show you guys and whatnot. But anyways, the best way to level up in my opinion, and relatively what a lot of people actually say is to have this fruit here, the human uh, Buddha fruit, because what will happen is with this fruit essentially don't put any points in the blocks fruit with this fruit even though it is a fruit and you're going to be using it what you want to do is put it in the melee see as i see right here how i have it maxed out my next one would be like the defense one right there so the reason being is that with the buddha what you want to do is just transform yourself so you'll turn into this really big thing you'll turn <laughs> yellow as well and all you're going to literally be doing is not even using this uh fruit you're going to want to just go from this fruit after you transform just straight to combat and then just start hitting things see how the hitbox is like so far away like look at how far away i am from that one and i can kill it like obviously right now i can kill it because all my points are high up so i'll go right now to like a, a better a better area where it will take me a, a couple hits to kill him but before i do i want to show you guys where you can get the buddha so you get it right here from the blocks fruit dealer i would personally recommend that you spend robux on it if you have it although keep in mind the buddha is very expensive both in what it costs so it costs 1.2 million dollars or i guess these are called berries so 1.2 million berries so you can spend that but you also run the risk of not even being able to get it most of the times it's always out of stock actually i couldn't even get it and i honestly tried for like two days because i didn't want to spend the robux on it but yeah it's like constantly out of stock so i went ahead and just spent the robux and the robux cost is a thousand six hundred and fifty robux so that's quite a bit of robux one thousand six hundred and fifty but i went ahead and just did it because it's honestly the best way to level up i used to level up i don't know if you guys remember my last blocks fruit video i would do it with the light the elemental one which is really good and if you can get it i guess i could i would say that you should because you get a sword but then you'll have to also put all your stats into blocks fruit to make it even good this is the first island that you're gonna go to um if you played the game you know that you'll you'll be sent to the monkey island first or i guess these are gorillas or something whatever anyways this is the first one you'll want to go to you'll see this big old monstrosity of a building here uh you're gonna want to go up and and go over here to the blocks fruit dealer cousin so you'll interact with him and he's gonna tell you all this stuff that every two hours he refreshes he's gonna tell you your level how much berries you have currently and then it's gonna calculate the cost of how much it's gonna cost you so for me right now because of my level and because of the amount of money i have it's gonna cost me 164,000 berries in order to get a random fruit however with you if you're like level let's just say like level 50 or something it may only cost you like 20,000 berries i think 20,000 berries may be the lowest but anyway so let's go ahead and do a random fruit and see what we can get uh so yep no refunds <laughs> Oh, we got the spin fruit. I went ahead and opened up the blocks fruit wiki. The spin fruit, which is the one that I just got from random, only cost 180,000 berries, which is actually not too bad. One of the other tips, um, aside from using the Buddha fruit to level up, is keep in mind that all the bosses in this game, well, maybe not all of them, but the majority of them do drop boss items. So for example, I got this one right here. This is a uh, pink coat and it does give you some a, a bit of a boost. It doesn't give you a lot. It's not something too drastic it'll give you a 10 percent bonus on using like ranged weapons and uh it gives you like 200 health so it's, it's not something too crazy but i mean if you have it you might as well wear it see 6620 and then i put it on 6820 you know it's not something too drastic but it's worth wearing anyway so i'm gonna come over here and just kill this guy i'm pretty sure i should be able to just kill him with one hit but see i'm gonna show you the range see that oh it's actually two hits the range is absolutely crazy it doesn't even give him enough time to come to me to even do any damage to me whatsoever unfortunately Unfortunately, he didn't drop anything, so that's not good. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the damage that this fruit... Well, my damage is really just coming from my melee, but what I mean to say is, like, this fruit helps a lot with keeping a distance from this guy here. See how he wasn't really able to reach me to attack me with his normal attacks? Oh, wow, we literally just got a... Um, oh, I think it went into the bank. I don't know if you guys saw that. We actually... I think it was, like, a musket or something like that. But what I realistically wanted to just show you guys is that if you stay... A pretty good distance the hitbox that this thing gives you will actually help out a lot i used to use the light one all the time so the light one gives you like a blade so i would literally just use a blade and just attack all the time something similar to this but the problem that i had was with these ones here because these things actually hurt and they will damage you a lot right now he isn't damaging me like too too crazy normally if you just have the light one 
these things will literally kill you with like three or four hits maybe even two hits and see when you got the buddha one it's literally you just keep a distance and you won't get hurt look at that he's literally like running at me and i'm not i'm not even gonna get hurt whatsoever from this guy all right so anyways that's what that was one of the things i wanted to show you not only that the this thing gives you like a really big distance of a hitbox if you notice that it takes me like four hits to kill him okay so one of my other tips here and this is gonna be my third tip would be that once you get to this ice island i'm pretty sure this might be like the fifth or sixth island that you go to um but you get you get here relatively oh look the boss is right there you get here relatively early on in the game when you're leveling up let me try and just kill this thing real quickly Oh, I didn't get no boss drop. What I didn't know, and I didn't really find out until it was time for me to go to the second C. You want to come right over here. Where is it? Oh, there you go. You see this little cave right here? You're going to want to go right through it it's just like a little smoke you're gonna want to talk to this guy the shop he's an ability teacher he's going to teach you abilities and these are the ones that you're gonna want to get early on into the game i didn't get these abilities until it was time for me to go into the second c because i didn't really know about him so he'll give you the sky jump which is just basically being able to just jump directly up high he'll give you the enchantment which i guess is what's considered to be like the the hockey thingy which what it does is that see how my arms there just turned back to its normal color then if you press the hockey your arms turn black and it gives you like um some good abilities okay so here are some of the things that it'll do so when you when you get it you'll get just sort of all of these little buffs here uh slowly but surely you'll eventually start leveling up to different stages here's the xp needed you can find this one in the enchantments tab of the blocks fruit wiki so that's one of the ones that you'll definitely want to get you might as well just keep it on i mean you can take it off and keep it on all the time but definitely even in this seat but more so in the second C, you kind of need it on at all times because most of the monsters you can't attack them without it and the third one was a um a flash step so the flash step is literally what exactly what it, it's just like a small little teleporter it'll just do that unfortunately the distance isn't that crazy but it'll help out i mean you might as well get it if you can and the jump was literally just this just jump directly straight up so yeah you're definitely going to want to get those early on as fast as you kind of can because it'll be pretty good boost to have especially this jumping thingy oh my god the mobility on this thingy is amazing you definitely need it as early as you can okay guys so we just got into the uh second c here so i wanted to show you guys with these ones because these ones act takes me a couple hits to actually kill them and whatnot so what you're gonna want to do is open up an auto clicker now i don't know whether or not you can get in trouble for this i really hope you can't because a lot of the guides even talk about just getting a buddha using an auto clicker so i don't know whether or not it's against um roblox but whatever so you're gonna want to put 50 on that millisecond maybe 70 whatever whatever is more comfortable for you and what you'll want to do is just shift lock in uh press v to start it and literally just go around and start killing these things now obviously if you're here you're definitely going to want to get the quest first um because the quest will give you a lot more exp and it gives you money after killing eight of these but of course i'm not going to get the quest because there's really no point for me since these things are i mean this isn't even my area my area is far off over there um but anyway see how easy it is all you got to do is just attack and just really move around so now my only job is i'm not even clicking only thing i'm doing with the mouse is just moving around my screen and then sometimes i'm moving my character around maybe like just back a little bit that way i just don't get hit by them so you'll definitely just want to do that and i can assure you you'll definitely get to higher levels extremely quickly if you still have the exp boost i would recommend you use them you can look up codes by just putting blocks through codes in google and you'll find a whole bunch of them do use the codes if you can if you can't then you're gonna have to buy some and it's pretty expensive yep it's this one right here 2x xp boost see even one hour is 100 robux you'll definitely want to do that and it'll get you to higher levels a lot more quicker.